Hello, my name is Sadna. I'm a technical marketing engineer in the Microsoft Business Unit at NetApp. In this video, we'll use the OCPM 3.0 in SCOM to discover storage inventory in a network, first manually and later we'll also see how we can enable automated discovery. So let's get started with the manual discovery process. Uh, let's add a controller and uh, uh, run the discovery task. So uh, click on add controller on the right pane in discovered inventory. Uh, type the name or IP address of the storage controller that you wish to add and click on add. So once this is done, uh, we have to run the discovery task on the right pane there. So this is the manual uh, discovery task. So uh, the task is now started. Uh, let's. Uh, so this is cube. We can check the task status uh, under monitoring in the left pane. As you can see, it's queued uh, right now. Uh, once it's completed, uh, the uh, status will change to success. Now, if you click uh, on the controllers, uh, you can actually uh, see the controller added right there. So this is the manual discovery process. Now, uh, if you want to enable automated discovery, uh, click on authoring on the left pane and uh, uh, select rules under management pack objects and uh, search for on command. This will uh, filter out on command uh, uh, objects. So there uh, you can see a bunch of uh, objects with uh, data on tab uh, that got added as a part of the management pack. So now uh, you just uh, right click on the on tab discovery rule and uh, select overrides, override the rule and uh, for all objects. Uh, here you can see that there is an enabled uh, field there. Click on uh, enabled and uh, uh, select the override value as true. You can also set the interval seconds. By default, it is uh, 86,400 seconds. Uh, uh, also, remember to uh, save this as a new management pack. Always create a new management pack for the first time you have an override value. And uh, yeah, click on next and uh, create a new management pack and uh, save the new override value to the new management pack. Click on uh, apply and OK. So now this is saved. Uh, similarly, uh, you can do for uh, other objects uh, in the data on tab uh, uh, rule. So uh, we also have uh, the pro tips uh, that are uh, added as a part of the management pack. So you can also set uh, override values for uh, the pro tips. So here, uh, say for example, uh, I can uh, uh, enable the override for the volume space utilization as well. So right click and uh, say override and uh, uh, enable the override the rule and say for all objects and uh, can uh, check on enabled. By default, this is set to true. So you don't really have to change anything here and uh, uh, save it to the new management pack that we just created. And say apply and okay. So by enabling the volume space uh, utilization total discovery, uh, what we do essentially here is uh, that discovery is now enabled and uh, it is going to uh, generate a pro tip if there is a volume space utilization issue. Uh, so in this case, you don't really have to uh, click on run pro discovery task on the discovered inventory every time uh, to generate the pro tips manually. Uh, so this is how we enable automated discovery. Thanks for watching.